Here are a few things to give you a real depiction of what it's like to be a Loyola student. The girl to boy ratio is almost two to one and a lot of the guys are gay. Any Loyola student will tell you that the Rambler women greatly outnumber the men, 64% women and 36% men. Nearly every social event you go to will have at least two girls for every guy. And in that minority group of eligible bachelors, a lot of them are looking to date other men. I couldn't find any official numbers to quote, but any student or alum will tell you it's true. Depending on your gender and sexual orientation, this could make for a bonanza of potential partners or a serious dating dry spell. The Wellness Center sucks. The Wellness Center intends to provide medical care to the student population from immunizations to STI testing. In reality, it's a great place to go if you want to be told that you have seasonal allergies or mono, no matter what your symptoms are. On rare occasions, Wellness Center staff may depart from these two favorite responses to offer diagnoses that either grossly underestimate or terrifyingly overestimate the nature of the symptoms. There are actually five different campuses. So you already know about the Lakeshore campus, and maybe you did your research, so you already know about the Water Tower campus in the middle of downtown Chicago. The Retreat and Ecology campus is a 100-acre nature preserve in Woodstock, Illinois. The very highly regarded Stritch School of Medicine and the Neoff School of Nursing are both located on Loyola's Health Science Campus in suburban Maywood. The fifth LUC campus is the Cuneo Mansion and Gardens, a 100-acre estate in Vernon Hills, Illinois, with a century-old mansion and a huge collection of fine art and furniture. You can study in Rome, Beijing, or Vietnam for the same price as a semester in Chicago. Luckily, Loyola has three satellite campuses in Rome, Beijing, and Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. For these three programs, all Loyola, federal, and state aid can be applied toward tuition and program costs. That means if you, like most Loyola students, have scholarships, financial aid, and government grants, you can use them to pay for your study abroad. Not including airfare, the price tag for a semester at one of these satellite campuses shouldn't be all that different from what you're already paying to study in Chicago. So for more tips and tricks on colleges and universities, check out our website.